you should quit your job. Now that might sound crazy, but hear me out. If you're a young person, burnout is everywhere right now and you're probably feeling it at your job. Maybe you're not motivated like you used to be. Maybe you're losing interest in your old hobbies or you've even forgotten what it's like to have hobbies because you're constantly on call. Either way, the solution might be easier than you think. So watch on to find out why quitting your job might be the best decision that you ever make. So the first reason and the most obvious reason is that we live in the digital age, right? And a lot of times there's a big disconnect between your boss who's higher up and you. Because a lot of times your boss started out doing your job, but your job entailed a lot less work than it does when you're doing it. You know, I encountered this all the time when I was an investment banker. Our MDs or the higher ups would think that it was a simple fix. You know, I just wanna make this quick change for the client tomorrow. It shouldn't take you any time at all. And then you end up working about five hours to make that change. And then they come back and they're like, well, maybe just a little bit different, but mm, you know, uh, thanks for doing this. And it's not a big deal, right? But if you were to complain about it in their heads, they think, well, I went through the same thing. But the reality is they didn't go through the same thing because what they did was at a much slower pace with much less technical complexity than what you're doing. And it's much less neurally fatiguing as well. In addition, they didn't have work from home where they were 24 seven on call. They're constantly, you know, being pulled in different directions. And the reality is with the advent of technology, you're probably working on way more projects and doing way more multitasking than someone who came before you ever did in that position. So a lot of times you're being overworked, overstretched. It's not just messing up your mental health, it's messing up your physical health because you're sitting for long periods of time. You don't have control over your own time of when you're going to go walk or when you're going to go eat lunch or when you're going to go do other things. And even with all this work, you probably don't have the mobility that you want to seek in your job because a lot of the people who are in the higher positions are now clinging to those positions because they want safety and security that they've worked so hard for. And they're going to be even less likely to help you get that next promotion. So the first and most obvious reason is then quit your job so that you can promote yourself when you feel like it and you can free up time. Which brings us right into the next reason, which is opportunity cost. By working in your job, if you're unhappy with it right now, the main issue that you're going to find is that you don't actually have time to pursue other things. Even if it wasn't to create another business, maybe you just want to pursue being a healthier, happier you. If you're working 16 hours a day, then you need to be sleeping the other eight. And that's not to mention if you're a student part-time, maybe you've got kids, maybe you've got friends that you wanna see, maybe you have a significant other who's taking some portion of your time. Not that that's a bad thing, just stating the fact that that is an obligation. But the work you're doing is taxing you and it's literally draining your motivation to go pursue other tasks, right? It's actually preventing you from making your own financial freedom. By staying in this job, maybe you're not able to get that six pack you've always wanted. By staying in this job, maybe you're not able to try that one business idea that you've always had. By staying in this job, maybe you don't have the ability to turn off. You could be making money by learning a new skill. You could be making more money by learning a new skill. If you guys want me to make a video on things that are easy to get certified in that you can make money, leave a comment down below and I'll make a video about that. But there are definitely other skills that you can do in 2024 that will help you make more money and be happier along with it. If you're young, especially your youth isn't going to last forever. You're not going to have limitless energy. So if you don't see a path forward, then don't waste your energy on it now. Because the older you get and the more responsibilities you get, the less you're going to have time and energy and even just physical stamina to pursue new and exciting things that could lead you down way better paths. So what's the long game here? Working for yourself eventually reaps the rewards. The idea is that eventually you amass enough passive income to where you don't need to work if you don't want to or even you enjoy the work that you do so it doesn't feel like work. You should be able to get up and be happy that you're going to go work. You should feel like you've accomplished something because at the end of the day, working towards something is very much better 
than working for someone else. Our brains are craved to want rewards. And eventually, if you're doing more and more work for the same reward, which is always just a pat on the back from your boss or your next paycheck, then you will slow down and you will get burnt out. Whereas if you are making something of your own, then the reward is always changing. It's always fresh. Maybe you put out a new business venture and it turned out really well. And that was a reward for your brain. Maybe you got to learn some new skill that you were really interested in. And that is a huge reward for your brain. I mean, I myself know that now starting YouTube, a big reward for me is intrinsic in learning that the video that I made now is better than the video I made last time. And that in itself is a dopaminergic signal to the brain to keep going. So I don't come in feeling like it's work. I don't come in dreading filming these videos. I come in thinking, how can I make this video better? And how is this going to help me work towards my future? Because what would you rather have? To party hard now and then be broke later? Or to work hard now, but still party a little and then be way better off when you're older. Now, the final reason to quit your job is overall just happiness. Like I said before, if you have free time and you're less stressed out, then you'll find that you're a better friend, you're a better son, you're a better daughter, you're a better father, mother, whatever, because you've freed up the mental bandwidth to do that, right? The less stressed you are, the more energy you have to be better at other things. And being a part of relationships is a skill all the same. Getting out into nature and enjoying things is a skill. It literally takes energy to go out on a nice drive through the countryside and focus on things because you can't focus on the outside if you're constantly stressed on the inside. You're gonna actually be able to enjoy your money. One of the things I learned in banking is even if you're getting a great paycheck, there's no point if you never get to use it. What if I told you that I would give you 10 Lamborghinis right now, but you could never drive them because you had to live in the city and you couldn't ever go out because you were too scared that your boss was going to call you to do something on your day off. And that's exactly my point. You're gonna be able to live longer, live healthier. Less stress means more longevity. Now, I might have made everything seem a little bit rosy and all fun and games, but the truth is it's still going to be hard work. Making your own business is hard work and change is scary. Sometimes we get bothered by even small changes in our life and quitting your job is a big one, but the bigger the risk, the bigger the potential reward. And if you can overcome that initiation cost in dopamine in your brain, and you can really grind and get started and get yourself committed to a process, then you can become way more successful than you ever thought you would be. And it's going to make you look like a leader in front of others because you were courageous enough to break away from the pack and you were courageous enough to try to escape the rat race. It's 2024, burnout is everywhere and there's no one to listen to your problems. So are you going to let your complaints fall on deaf ears or are you going to go out and make yourself so loud that they have no choice but to hear you? So I'll leave you guys with that and I'll see you in the next video.